guys and I'm back with this um, review um, or look at. Uh, this is the look at or review of the Backman Collectors Club locomotive of 2020 um, and it's in the Somerset Dorset Joint Railway livery and it is a 1P. Um, Backman have announced several variants and this wasn't one of them. Um, I did find real footage of one and I did send it to Backman uh, so yeah, I did buy this. If anyone says I didn't, I did. I bought, bought it, hundred and fifty pound. Um, one important uh, information um, I, I must stress: if I've got this correct, uh, Backman and a few other companies. I think Oxford Rail maybe started using them. Um, are using coreless motors in their locomotives, as far as I know, and. Uh, some controls that have feedback controls, I believe, uh, will wreck the motor, and it may even wreck the control as well. And also any electrical clean, uh, uh, cleaning stuff that you've got attached to your track will also damage the uh, motor in the locomotive. If I've got that correct, um, that is a warning to anyone who's going to buy any newer backman stuff. That includes the J72. I want to say the... Um, BT World Tank that they've released as well. Uh, so just bear that in mind. Um, so let's get on with the view of that public announcement. Here is a brief history model on the Midland Railway Class 1532. Uh, Backman Railways announced on the 8th of January 2017 that would, they were producing a model of this class um, in maroon, LMS black and BR black. On November the 3rd, 2020, Backman announced their um, Collectors Club locomotive, which was the Somerset and Dorset Joint Railway uh, 1P in the livery. 504 of these models uh, will be produced. 150 of them will be sound fitted. Also, Craftman does a kit for a double O as well. And I also saw that there is an O gauge kit. I've seen an O gauge kit somewhere. So, starting off at something different um, with the Batman Collectors Club, you get a certificate. Of, um, of your loco, mine is number 133, it tells you what it is and when it came out, and on the back you get a little bit of history to go with it, which is a nice touch. As you move on to the detail bag itself, you get quite a bit actually, you get some drain clocks, some pipes, uh, a front step, because um, at the moment it kind of goes around Second radius, we had the step, it really can't go around second radius, probably not even third. You also get, as you can see there, um, another set of wheels. These ones have uh, traction tyres on them, and yes, it looks like you've got plastic gear in as well. And there's a hook, um, there's some great detail in this bag. As we move on to the front of the locomotive, the coupling uh, on the locomotive is the NEM one, so it is standard to this day. We also have some lines to knock things off the rails I believe, I keep saying it every time but I believe that's correct. Buffers are sprung and they are metal as well, turned out metal as well which is correct. We also have um, SDJR writing on the buffer beam. We also have two uh, fitted uh, appliances which are vacuum pipes and hoses I believe. We also have a hole for the coupling and um, hook with the uh, links on. As we move up a little bit, we have lamp irons. I think there's three at the bottom, one at the top near the chimney, which is, I believe is correct. As we move on to the smoke box dart, there's no dart as such. There's the number of the loco, which is 54, and that was the only one that went to Somerset and Dorset from the 1P. We have a handrail, and then down the side we have something that's to do with the brakes, I believe, could be wrong. Um, pretty plain front, if I'm honest with you. As we move on to the side of the locomotive, as you can tell, this is the 044, a steam locomotive. Let's start off with the livery. It's a livery I don't have, and it's a stunning livery. It's um, Prussian blue, I believe that's what it's called. 
Uh, we start with the splashes. The splashes are lined. It's like a gold lining, yellow gold lining. We also have that around the tanks and the bunker as well. We also have metal uh, handrails, uh, one by the tank and one, uh, two in the cab. We do have some separately applied piping. We also have the air pipe that I mentioned before as well. And inside we do have some sort of motion, uh, but it's a bit plain in there. We have some um, safety valves and whistles, which are nice. I think they are plastic as well. The lining of the locomotive on the boiler is yellow and gold, I believe, with the uh, pushing blue. It's highly detailed this side as well. As we move on to the other side of the locomotive, there is some subtle differences around this side, if I'm honest. Uh, the wheels do have lining. Um, the two big ones and two small ones do have lining. Like I said, the splashes have lining as well. There's some separately different uh, pipe work near the uh, front of the locomotive. There's also a, which I think is a reverser rod there as well, just slightly tucked away, but still, it's still there. We do have um, steps between the two big driving wheels. The one in the detail bag is go between the two small uh, wheels at the back of the cab. Uh, the classification on the locomotive is there, it's just in the corner. It is a 1P and a OG, I believe that's correct. Uh, the lining is everywhere, it's a spotless locomotive. And we do have separately applied um, cold bunker rails as well near the back of the locomotive. As we move on to the cab, let's start off with the glazing. The glazing is the glazing bar front and back of the cab. A little bit of a shame this day and age. Uh, most things in the cab are painted to a high standard. Uh, the dials have numbers on and there's um, some piping picked out in gold in the cab. I do believe uh, this does have a flipping firebox on DC. Hopefully there should be a clip coming up now. Um, so yeah, if it is, it is there, it's a good touch. It's, it's slightly hard detail cab. Let's move on to the bunker, or the back of the locomotive. In the centre-ish of um, the, uh, the bunker, you have the water gallon um, label, which I think it says 1500. Moving down to the buffer beam, again, it's a lot like the front, it's exactly the same as the front, actually. Spring buffers, and we have the SDJR on the buffer beam, and some piping to go around it. We also have three lamp irons and one just above the uh, water classification, to matter what it's allowed in. We do have some coal in the bunker. We also have some gold lining and bars around the window to stop the coal going through to the cab. The back head of the coal uh, cab is uh, lined. The same with the bunker, it is lined. And for back end, it is quite detailed. And as we look down at the locomotive, the cab vents don't move, they are moulded. There is some separate applied detail near the cab vent. You can see this wonderful lining uh, on the loco, uh, all the way through. Uh, we also have um, some more piping on the dome, by the looks of it, which seems to be separately applied, which is fantastic. You can also see the, uh, where the water goes into the tanks as well. There's some separately applied stuff all around there. It is a lovely livery, I've got to admit it. Um, shame about the moving um, fence though, if I'm honest. First off, I'll, ap I'll ap apologise for the crudeness of this uh, view. Normally I'd have it in a cradle, but I'm scared of breaking some of the piping on top of the locomotive. On the bright side, we do have some uh, pickups on the four main driving wheels. I'm not sure about the rear pony truck. It may have some, I'm really unsure. Uh, they do have metal axles though, so it does look hopeful. We do have some um, brake rigging already applied, which is great. Uh, very much nice. We also have some Sanding gear and sand pipes are separately applied. They are there, and you can also see the steps um, sticking out between the, two, the driving wheels as well. And you can also see the um, couplings too. So yeah, guys, that's it on the truck. It does look quite pretty, if I'm honest. Um, next up will be second radius, which I expect to do second radius, and a points test uh, with a new controller. About 30.
So yeah, managed that pretty well, pretty fast. I'm not quite used to this controller yet. i um, got a sort of few things out, but it managed it. Uh, next up will be some slow speed and a little running session, and then I'll give my opinion at the end. So here it goes. Not bad, just before the 20. Does run quite slow on um, DC.
So yeah guys, that's the end of the review. Uh, before I give my opinions, um, I'll show you what the 1P was running with. Uh, I will apologise for the stock because I don't have any Somerset and Dorset or LMS um, style coaches for the period. So it's a few uh, great racing collectible coaches. And as you might see uh, enjoying the video, we had a Union Dairies um, tanker, to something different. Um, this hasn't got the traction tire fitted, it's as it came from the box. Like I said, I will just warn you, uh, Backman and a few other manufacturers are starting to use coilless motors. Uh, so if you've got a feedback one or uh, electric truck cleaning stuff, you would turn it off and change your control because you may damage your control or you may damage the loco. When locos cost X amount of money, not great. I'll just give you that warning. My opinion on the 1P, yeah, I, I like it. It's something different. I have a few um, 044 locomotives of the H class, the Adams, uh, the H class, and the M7. And they also have a uh, G5 on the way, which is done by Backman. So, yeah, I would highly recommend one. Like I said, I do a few liveries. Um, this one is odd because there's only one in this livery ever and this is obviously the one um, so it could be a good station pilot or special rail tour would be a great idea um, I'm a big fan of these a few great touches well made um, what more can you ask for really no issues with mine and um, like I said if you want the standard version it's £127 I believe from most retailers uh, the collector's club you have to join the collector's club and it costs a hundred and 50 plus the 30 pound joining fee the 30, 30 pound joining fee isn't too bad uh, you get an extra wagon you also get a calendar and stuff so yeah me i rate these um if you have one let me know and until next time guys it's goodbye from this beautiful thing and it's goodbye from me bye